This half hour, we're getting our first reaction from family members in the double murder case involving a former Jabil Circuit executive. Just about an hour ago, a Pinellas jury found Patrick Rick Evans guilty of shooting his wife and her boyfriend back in 2008. Our Ellen McNamara joins us live now outside the courthouse. Ellen? Hi, Dan. Well, it took just an hour and a half for the jury to reach that guilty verdict. And now that same jury will have to recommend whether Patrick Evans should die by lethal injection or if he should spend the rest of his life behind bars. More than a dozen family members of Elizabeth Evans and Jerry Taylor cried as they heard this guilty verdict. A few of them spoke to me, in fact, as they left the Pinellas County Courthouse, and they said the last three years have been horrible. Today, though, they are pleased with the verdict. The five men and seven women on the jury believed after all of the evidence was presented that Patrick Evans shot and killed his estranged wife, Elizabeth, and her new boyfriend at her condo in 2008. Throughout the trial, we heard from a number of witnesses and even heard a 911 call where you could hear the victim scream. Listen now, though, to what the brother of Jerry Taylor said after the verdict. Of course, it's not closure, but it's one step closer in the healing process. Um, we believe the jury saw the evidence for what it was and came back with the proper verdict. And tomorrow morning, the punishment phase of this trial will start. In fact, it starts up at 8.30. We will be here to cover every step of the way, of course, and we will have more on the reaction from the family members of the victims as well as Patrick Evans' lawyers coming up tonight on ABC Action News at 5 o'clock. For now, we are live outside the Pinellas County Courthouse. Ellen McNamara, ABC Action News.